Peace, power, and protection, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to First Eye Visions. My name is Q, and I am here to pick up on the energy, see what's coming in, going out, going on with our beloved Scorpios. I am going to focus today on what's hidden. So we're going to see what's hidden behind the scenes for our beloved Scorpios. I like to call this my Dark Matter series that they pray and pray on your downfall series. So we're going to see who they might be. Welcome to each and every one of you beautiful souls that may be new. My name is Q. I am an empath. I channel messages intuitively and I am also Clara audience. So during my reading, the way that things work is I play music and the name of the song, lyrics within the song, name of the artist, maybe even the timestamp on the clock. It will all correlate to what I may be channeling intuitively as well as what the cards may be showing and it all blends beautifully. So my spiel here is eat the fish spit out the bones meaning if the reading doesn't apply just let it go let it flow let it fly by do not to try to force anything to be your story take what fits leave the rest my readings are also timeless so whenever this video has popped up in your feed or whenever you felt compelled to click play that was divine timing and in divine order that you've done so beloved so for all of my beautiful souls that are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love is love is love. I want to send y'all extra love because I love y'all that much. I especially appreciate those of you who have patronized my Etsy shop. You may book your consultations now. I have some openings. So you may go ahead to my Etsy shop. The link is in the description box, you may book a emergency reading. You will get that within 24 hours. Or you have uh, two other options, which is a 60 minute read, deep dive, or a two hour deep dive. And those readings you will get within uh, one to five business days. But I've received nothing but love. My emails are flooding with there's just a show of love for the readings. People just, you know, really um, stressing how accurate the reading was and how much they enjoyed the re their reading and that they would be, you know, letting others know. So I really appreciate you all. And I will be, I'm working on that testimonial video um, right now and that will be uploaded sometime this week. So check for that. Uh, for those that have booked and sent emails, um, I will leave your names, I mean, I will leave your emails anonymous. I will not disclose like your name or your email information. I will blacken that out, but I will, you know, just kind of like uh, show some of the excerpts from your emails, just showing how much you enjoy the reading. Because I do feel that that's just, I want to show others like just how appreciative um, you all have been. Um, with your reading. So I'm just thankful. I'm thankful. But thank you so much for those of you. I just wanted to shine a little light on y'all. Uh, so without further ado, we're going to proceed with the reading, you know, but before we do, we're going to do a little house cleaning. I'll shake. All right. I call upon the elements of water, fire, earth, air, ether, and spirit, Ashe. I ask our beautiful angels, archangels, ancestors, ascended masters, spirit guides, deities, animal totems, earth, mother Gaia, universe, source, the divine, most high God, our creator, to shine a powerful, powerful message of love and of light. I call personally upon Baba Obatala, Mama Oya, and Baba Ogun to bless me with the intuition and discernment of my cards. Help me to pick up on the energy, number, synchronicity, and vibrations of my cards. And so it is. So mote it be. Ashe, Ashe, Asheo. 
So beautiful souls. Let's see what we have on the Clizop. So it's 458. Let me see if I could turn it down. 458 breaks down to 8. So 8 is the number of the star card. 8 is also the number of the strength. So you all have been through some uh, karmic cycles. You've leaned on your strength. You've definitely displayed nothing but courage. You've displayed, you know, a lot of strength in these cycles that you've been wrapping up. I see that there's also uh, a sense of like perhaps something's coming in quickly that you're not aware of. This could be like an answer to a prayer, a wish fulfillment, something that you've been, I feel, waiting for, praying for, hoping for, asking for. It's like I see you like writing petitions or writing to your angels, your guides sitting in front of your altar or praying. I'm seeing that in my mind's eye, like someone really like praying and, and calling their guides or calling, calling on their ancestors for assistance. What I have playing in my playlist right now is we have Tamiya. And this is, oop, let me turn that down for I get a strizike. So we have Tamiya, leave it smoking. So I feel like, you know, because this is the, uh, you know, they pray and pray on your downfall series. So I do feel like there could be a karmic. There could be a situation that is dealing with a karma because eight is, you know, the, the number of karma. It's also the number of the strength card. So I feel like you have persevered through something that was very difficult in your past. You know, there was and with leave it smoke and this person knew how to push your buttons, knew how to get you angry. You know, this is by Tamia. She's from Canada. You know, but this is like, you know, so maybe someone's from Canada, maybe someone tuning and tapping in is from Canada. But I just get a sense of like, you know, uh, there's a karmic that knew how to push your buttons. There's someone from your past that you had to leave behind because they were literally, they were causing a lot of strife. They were causing a lot of stress, a lot of aggravation. And I feel like it, it required a lot of strength to overcome this person because I'm getting a sense of like a very dark energy. So they could have been very controlling, very manipulative, very conniving. That eight is also giving me the number of like the eight of swords. So this is like someone that's like stressing, like super stressed, super anxious. Maybe they kept you in this like perpetual state of confusion or maybe this is self-deception but this eight of swords that i'm seeing i just feel a lot of mental conflict flip confusion like someone not trusting their own intuition someone not trusting their own gumption someone not leaning on their strength and, and that's what land you know that's what landed them in a karmic situation but now that they have you know, it's almost like they've had that epiphany, that aha. Now there's like this forward movement. Now there's this ability to take action in a completely different direction. Or take action and um, in a whole new, like it's like a whole new beginning, so to speak. The eight is also, you know, like I said, it's karma because it's what goes around comes back around. So depending upon the seeds that you've sown in the past, you could be having good karma coming in because I was feeling wish fulfillments earlier, like a blessing that could be coming in, answer to someone's prayer or a petition that was sent out. Maybe someone has been speaking daily mantras, manifesting some sort of new beginning or some sort of new opportunity or something new, something. And it's coming. It's coming unexpectedly. But I feel like if there is someone that's like a karmic that used to keep you like fired up, that it could be a fire sign. Also, I'm hearing Leo and Aries, but someone used to get you fired up. They knew how to push your buttons. They knew how to make you angry. And with leave it smoking, they would just they get you angry and then they just disappear. So it was almost like they come around just to antagonize you frustrate you and then they just disappear they ghost you so it was like it was intentional to get you out of um balance or to get you you know out of equilibrium so to speak so be mindful because that could be a potential threat or someone that could potentially be approaching you or you know because that eight is incoming 
So that's like something unexpected. So just be mindful. I'm here to keep your head on a swivel. So let's see what the cards have to say. That's just what I'm picking up intuitively. I'm gonna start off with the numerology deck. And then we will proceed with some oracle messages. Then we'll pull out traditional, um, I mean, some tarot cards. So what we have on the bottom of the deck is we have 88 abundance. So we just saw, you know, that um, we just saw that eight, which was. I was getting a sense of like, you know, a wish fulfillment or something from the past. You know uh that could potentially be trying to you know come back dredge up emotions or trying to anger you or trying to push your buttons but with this 88 abundance i was also getting a sense of like a wish fulfillment i feel like you're going to be emotionally fulfilled if there is some sort of uh blessing coming in for you this is something that you've been in you've been asking for for quite some time it could have been eight months maybe for the past eight years you've been praying for something and it's finally coming in because this eight and eight reduces the 16 that's seven that's the chariot so i feel like maybe this is like even you having some sort of triumphant outcome or there's some triumphant success there's some sort of yes answer this is due to you learning to assert yourself or you learning to stand up for yourself that's the strength card we was getting earlier so you know standing up for yourself that not backing down speaking your truth uh, being more courageous, being more um, confident, if you will. But that chariot is also representative of balance. There's duality. There's two horses, a yin and a yang energy. So that represents balance and equilibrium. I see that you've grown, and that's why you're receiving some sort of blessing in abundance. It's like you're you're you will be flourishing. It's like things are quantifying if you will it's like spirit is multiplying your blessings this is beautiful and you're going to be so elated you're going to be so so fulfilled and perhaps that's why you have some energy lurking jealousy and envy is what i'm hearing in my mind's eye so we have this 10 karmic completion what did i just say about having some sort of end of a cycle and that's why you're being rewarded you're being rewarded for completing some side of some sort of tough cycle for leaving someone in the past it was a very very um and you could tell that's exactly what it was so after you come out of this dark period this this you know this abundance waiting for you seven deals with the crown chakra i feel you also know this i feel spirit is also telling you trust your intuition I feel spirit is also telling you there's a Decepticon around you because with that seven and another deck, seven is associated with like deceit and envy. And so I'm just seeing someone greed, like green with envy, you know, someone, you know, jealousy is a sickness, you know, that that that's not some loving, endearing type of energy. That is something that is like they, that they got to deal with that. But this is someone that's looking at you as a meal ticket. They looking at you as food. And this is someone that you've obviously cut ties with because you discovered someone was very toxic. And we were speaking to the karmic energy that we was picking up on earlier. There was a karmic type of energy. And because you've moved away from that, cut your ties, cut your losses, and you remain hopeful, praying, sending up petitions, even healing from those, uh, you know, those, those, those past wounds and traumas, because that's also like the star energy I was getting. So really like turning your vulnerabilities into a superpower, really learning how to co-create with source, really calling in and drawing in what you desire. And that's why this 88 abundance is here. You've learned to take control. You've learned to stand up for yourself, just as I said, not back down. You're now in control. You've taken the reins. Because remember, I was seeing like the chariot with this. And so with this 88, 16 abundance, it's like that's the confidence that leads to you now owning you know, the fact that you are a leader, you know, you are a boss, you are a healer, teacher, shaman, light worker, like you're standing in your square, you're a vessel for others. And perhaps this is what this karmic lesson was always meant to teach you. So every great healer has to first heal themselves. You come out of a dark period. This was a very tough cycle. And that's why I feel like spirit is rewarding you with plenty. Like this number seven 
is a very spiritual number as well. This is a seven universal year. We just had the 777 on Friday. That's a portal that opened up and I posted a 777 meditation video. So you can say that uh, affirmation three times a day from 777, which was Friday, all the way to 725 when that 777 portal closes and you will see a plethora you'll see a influx in your cash flow you'll see opportunities start presenting themselves utilize this portal right now to manifest i also want to show you um this past weekend i went to go uh to like a you know it was a family reunion so to speak you know a lot of family flew in from utah from boston south carolina a couple of people gathered together at the um at myrtle beach and uh, on the way there, uh, there were so many synchronicities, uh, but I actually, and I'm posting this video, I'm posting this video, um, I'm posting this, this is going to be like the thumbnail for this video, but the highway that we were driving on was Highway 777. Can you see that? Highway 777. And it was on 777 that I saw it. Um, I also was driving behind a car that had my initials uh q s m and it was six seven one that was the the uh, license plate so that's seven seven i also saw two white doves sitting on the roof of a house and lastly when i looked at the clock it was four one two it was seven so this this is like these were some of the synchronicities that i have been able to um witness in this short window of time so using this energy and look what we have as i'm speaking of seven so you have seven 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 right here as i'm speaking of seven 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 so there's luck there's wish fulfillment there's a, a, a blessing coming in some of your prayers will be answered um, as I said, this 88 breaks down to 16, which is 7. So you have 777. Some of you have also been seeing that number as well. But this karmic completion is the reason why you are being rewarded, you're being recognized, and you will have, like I said, an influx. But this spirituality, you're attracting someone that is a like mind. For those who are new, whenever I see double numbers, I always feel that you attracting someone in your likeness, as we can see here. So you attracted your karmic and your karmic attracted you and you've learned valuable lessons. This helped you to like really grow and evolve. You know, you've really had to get to the root cause of a lot of your your uh, traumas, a lot of your um, emotional um, issues. And you've done just that because when you get to the seven, that's the crown. You know, that seven also deals you know, with the chariot, as I said, but that that crown chakra means that you're now able to, you know, tap into your God frequency and you're able to consult with your higher self to get those downloads so that you can move um, accordingly, you know, because you're now balanced. You're in harmony and equilibrium emotionally, mentally, spiritually. And it's because you've, you know, finally cut the car, the cords, the karmic cords, yokes. But this 77 is showing your overall energy uh, very much tapped in. Pay attention to your dreams right now. I feel there's also someone could potentially be um, trying to manipulate your energy, like trying to tap into your energy, like psychic attacks I'm hearing. So be mindful. Be mindful of potential psychic attacks because with this spirituality, like it's like someone is aware or someone is, from, is, is they're aware that you're intuitive or that you are uh, connected. And I feel like someone could be trying to manipulate your energy or, or trying to. It's just like this because this 8513, that's like the death. So that four and this five, that's nine. So it's like you're you are protecting your energy. So that's what I'm picking up. Like you're very very guarded, and it's due to past disappointment. So it's like whatever you've just come out of, you got your guard up. Okay, I'm getting it now. So it's like you you're already picking up. You're getting those downloads, like the frequencies. You know your antennas is like it's picking up the signals. It's definitely picking up the signals and signals. And like I said, perhaps you are. 
um, having some very lucid dreams at this time. Maybe you're astral traveling. With this spirituality, I do feel a strong sense of being very, um, very sensitive at this time. And maybe that's why you're seeing a lot of synchronicity because there's a lot of divine downloads being transmitted at this time. These portals are opened up. There's so many. This month alone, there's going to be seven planets that go retrograde. So seven in the seventh month, not only do we have 777 twice this month, um, actually we're going to have it three times because we had it 77, 716, and then 725. So during those three, those three time frames, be sure to connect, like really call in what you desire. Because this 77, that 14 breaks down to five. So that's really about honing your skills, mastering your craft. That's about learning, building your wealth of knowledge, building even your skill set. You could be sitting at the feet of an elder. Maybe you are, um, you know, taking some sort of classes. But I'm definitely getting a strong sense of like tutelage. This is like a scholarly energy. I'm getting a sense of like studying, taking notes. But I also feel like your angels and your guides are communicating with you as well. So trust your intuition, use discernment. Like don't, you know, especially when it comes to, you know, perhaps communication, because someone could be like using um, like I said, some I'm just picking up dark magic. I'm, I keep hearing like dark magic manipulation of the energy because with the seven to seven at fourteen, that's five. That five is the hierophant, but that five is also dealing with the throat chakra. And because this is all purple card and this is the number seven, I feel like spirit is telling you to like use discernment when it comes to someone's communication because remember we just had um. Who was that talking about? Um, who was that? It was uh, Leave It Smoking. And now we have Casa Overall. And this is called Landline. As I'm speaking about communication. And the landline is like the actual jack. Like you speak on the phone at the house. You used to get the wire and plug it up to the wall. So that's like a landline phone. So I feel like that, you know, like this is like someone is definitely going to try to communicate. Spirit is telling you, use your, your, your first thought of C, basically. Like use your intuition. Because the seven is associated with crown. Crown has, you know, spirit is emphasizing the fact that you need to really, because um, this, this is the overall energy. And I was getting a sense of someone like being manipulative. We have this 85 and this is uh breaks down to 13 that deals with the like the that's the death card in traditional tarot so that means something that was you know something that ended or there was some sort of demise of a friendship of a partnership of a a love ship of a connection period because someone is choosing to follow their dreams so they're going in a different direction or they're following their heart you know this is what you're attracting to you so maybe this is you like following your intuition, following your gumption. That nine is also giving me a sense of like the nine of pentacles, like someone that's independent now, self-sufficient, especially after this karmic completion. It's like now you're independent, you're self-sufficient, you're moving to the beat of your drum, doing what you desire. That nine is also giving a sense of the nine of wands, being very guarded, protecting your boundaries, creating a safe space. And it's also the nine of cups, loving yourself, me, myself, and I, making sure to take the time to love on you and to prioritize you. And someone is stressing over this. With this landline, this is someone that is like, they're really wanting to, to like, they want to scream. They want to scream on you. This nine of swords is like somebody's up in their head agonizing. And we're about to pull the energy for how they feel about you. And we still have this ten karmic completion. And this is the same person that's up in their head with the nine of swords. Someone that can't get rest at night. Someone that is left. Like they, maybe that's part of their karma. Is like, you know, perhaps whatever they've done to you. It's like now they're feeling it. 
Because now you are running space in someone's mind. Because that nine of swords is like, that's like someone suffering from insomnia, waking up in the middle of the night, you know, resting on a guilty conscience, having many regrets, feeling remorse, feeling anxious. And then all of that turns into anger, bitterness, and misdirected, you know, misdirected anger and frustration. And this is someone that wants to say something, but they they feel blocked, you know. But remember, I was seeing that Eight of Swords earlier where that could have been also like this could be like self-imposed, like someone could really be their worst enemy. You know, they could self-sabotage. I'm hearing the word self-sabotage because what you're attracting to you is everything that you deserve and desire, especially after going through some sort of ending. We already saw the karmic completion. And next you see this, you know, follow your dream, the 85. So this is what you have like you, you have been reborn. And you've been renewed. This is like a renewal. Because it's like now you're you're doing the things that you could have been shying away from in the past. Could have been, you know, talking yourself out of in the past. Now you're following your dreams. That four is also associated with the heart chakra. So it's like you're following your heart. You're following your heart's truest desires. That four is also associated with the um emperor so there could be you know you know this was someone that um inspired you to go after your dreams this could have been like you know an ex a husband children to your father mother to your child this could be you know that type of energy that you could be leaving leaving behind or that feels blocked or that feels this this guardedness if it's not a children's mother children's father maybe this was someone you lived with someone you were in like a domestic type of partnership with could have lived with them shared bills you know shared car note things of that nature like almost like a domestic um but let's tap in so how does this person feel and we have um pete rock and cl smooth and this is called straighten it out so how they feel about you is they want to straighten you out so it's almost like when I hear straighten you out, it's like, you know, when you think about something that's, um, when you hear straighten you out, I'm going to straighten you out. It's like, it's almost like they, they think that they can discipline or chastise you. This is someone that is like a little warped. 19 pride on the bottom of the deck as I'm speaking about somebody that's a little warped. Because when you, when you're proud and egotistical, you're not really... That's not very, um, that's not a mature energy, you know. You got to know when to put the pride to the side. You got to know when to let the ego, you know, take a back burner. When you are always operating and functioning um, with ego, when you are like, when your ego is out of whack, that, that, is, that is an energy that has to be, um, it has to be corrected. It has to be. It has to be um, it has to be corrected and spirit will put you in a sacrificial position. That's when you see like that hangman where spirit will let you look at things from a different perspective or a different vantage point. But let's see how this person feels about you. We have 37 time out. So they definitely see that you have put them on time out, that you're taking a time out. Remember I was saying the nine of swords. So that's like guarded. So you are very much like you know, very guarded. You're not allowing anyone in. They also see you, uh, you know, having some sort of very divine connection with the spiritual partnership. And we have 63 parents in. Didn't I mention like the mother or father to your child? This is a very controlling energy. I'm hearing the word narcissistic. This is someone that doesn't want to let you go because they see that you are um, growing, you're maturing. And you're finally, like, not responding to their antics. And so this is becoming, this is making it clearer that they're losing a grip. Like, they're losing uh, some sort of control. Because with follow your dreams, it's like, they're not letting you go. Because they're in their mind, you're like their wish fulfillment. In their mind, you you, you belong to them, you know? How they feel about you is you are definitely like guarded. They feel that this connection is 
spiritually ordained or this is like a, a sacred connection with the spiritual partnership. But nine and nine and one still reduces to ten. They know it's over because that karmic completion, they know it's over. They know you're done, done, fin because you've had the epiphany. The same color of these cards, you got the purple and the yellow. It's like you see them for who they truly are. Maybe they feel like, you know, you used to think or you once believed that they were your divine counterpart. The yang to your yin, yin to your yang. But now it's like you've taken the necessary time out. And now you see the light. See how this is a yellow card and this is purple. This card here, the time out is purple. And there's yellow inside. So it's like now they see like they, they know you see them. Because that yellow is like that always provides like illumination, truth, clarity. They see that you've been mustering up the strength to walk away, to take action, because this 10, that's an ending. Every ending denotes a new beginning. You're, you're on the precipice of a new start. And this is like, this is causing someone a lot of angst. This 19 pride, it's like they, they're forced to, to have some sort of ego death. Who's hidden in the energy? Who is this um, praying of Scorpio's downfall? What's hidden in the energy for who's praying of Scorpio's downfall? Thank you, spirit. I can't make this up. We got financial discipline here. 48. This could be someone you used to work with or someone you do work with. Or this is someone that, you know, has you caught up in a triangular situation, third party, and you had to heal from that situation. Not only did you heal from it, you grew from it. You learned from it. You moved on from it. And you took your power back after it. And you cut those karmic cords because of it. They see you now. This is someone that's stressing and agonizing. Didn't I say this is 71? This gives me like the eight of swords also. So someone is really stressing, agonizing. With this 74 nature, this is what's hidden in the energy. So this person is someone that's in your, you know, surrounding, someone you're familiar with, someone you know, within your environment. This is definitely someone you had some sort of ending with. We have this 78 spiritual career. You definitely are embarking on some new career. Many of you who are musicians or many of you who um, play instruments or, um, or are artists. It's like I feel like your, your career is going to blossom and bloom. I feel like things are definitely going to flourish. Business will thrive. Because I feel like you've been taking the necessary time, as I said earlier, from turning pain into power. Like you, you, you've learned to like um, turn a situation that was very traumatic. You've turned it around. You, you've learned to turn it around. Give me one moment. My kitten is trying to get in. Oh, my bad. So with this um, seventy-one eight two, that's one. So that's like a 10, the ending. So there's something that ended. And it's just like, I feel like this has to do with like someone making a decision to walk away from something that was causing a lot of stress, a lot of strife, and then refocusing their energy on their own, you know, on the, what they desire, you know, on their goals, on their dreams. That's what that follow your dream is about because someone does, you know, pursue you know, their dreams, they pursue something that was perhaps, you know, a hobby and it turned into a passion, something to do with music. Maybe some of you all are clairaudient. It's telling me to listen to the song that's playing right now. And what we have playing is Mary J. Blige, You Gotta Believe. So it's like you had to believe in some sort of dream. You had to hone that skill, that gift that talent in order for you to now have some sort of successful spiritual career. This is what's hidden. This is a natural gift, a natural talent. This isn't something that, you know, you just learned along the way. I feel like this is something you've been very, um, like you've been working on this for quite some time. And it's just like, maybe you've been stressing about it. Maybe you've been stressing about finances. 
I feel like you're going to start meeting people that are going to really invest in whatever this is, like maybe people that will partner up with you, maybe just you working really hard to, uh, like I said, you know, master your craft and developing some really dope alliances, partnerships. So who's praying and hating those Scorpios downfall and why? Thank you. So we have five change because you changed. You leveled up. The five, that's the Hierophant. It's like you already know who you are. What did I say about seven personal growth? So this is what you've done. They, they, they can't manipulate you anymore. With this 57, in this deck, 57 is teaching and learning. So it's like they've learned something from you. And that's why you saw that pride at 91 because they definitely, um, I feel like you, 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 you hurt someone's ego. You bruised someone's ego because you've you've been growing and changing. You're no longer responding to the nonsense. You're no longer like feeding into the foolery. Like you're no longer being baited into arguments that are like foolish. Like you've leveled up. You're someone completely different. It's like you're more patient now. I feel like also you can see right through people's, you know, right through their, their, um, bull crap like you can see right through them but if you gotta believe it's like you already know who you are you know it's like you already know you no longer you don't believe in words it's like you you're looking at actions now that's something that you've learned and as i said whatever you've been you've experienced in your past it's helped you to grow it's helped you to mature but ultimately it's helped you to change your perspective your behavior, you know, change the way you're seeing life, the way you're, you know, dealing with people. You could be dealing with someone, like I said, that could be very um, manipulative and cunning because this too is the high priestess. So this could be someone that's hidden behind the scenes. And we got this 96 forgiveness. So that's that eight. And remember the eight right there. So nine or six reduces to eight. And that's the eight we opened up the reading with. But we also have this eight here, that karmic. So they're coming in. This is like emotional manipulation because they're being very patient. If you think of a snake, a snake is very patient. I feel like this is someone two-faced. I'm hearing two-faced. You know, they show you one thing, but when you're not looking, there's a, there's a completely different type of person. I feel like this is someone that will say words like I'm sorry or say things like please forgive me or I apologize, but they don't mean it, you know, and they're waiting for you to, you know, to, to accept the apology so that they can like stab you in the back again. This is a very beguiling energy. This is just like with you got to believe this is again, just that 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 controlling type of energy I was picking up on because you don't got to believe anything, you know, you, you you believe what you what you feel is true you know to you so you don't got to do anything someone's name could be mary someone could be from yonkers so let's tap in let's clarify these messages just a mess of energy oracle divine spirit peace, power and protection so we got strategy here someone's strategically trying to figure out you know how to communicate or express something remember i was picking up almost like a beguiling energy earlier this could be someone you have roots with planted seeds with with strategy that 21 is uh you know the number of the world card in traditional tarot and here this says strategy this is someone who's also learned i feel this is also saying you've evolved you've grown like you have a lot of protection around you your angels and your guides give you direction that's why i was getting the 77 like trust your intuition with spirituality you're very sensitive yeah can't make this up see that strategy and then you have archangel metatron that's your first eye so always use your first eye to see the four and that three reduces to seven that's the crown but that's also so that you can see this beguiling energy this person that's very sneaky this person that is very um deceptive because remember i said in this deck i was the seven was like deceit and envy i believe it's in this deck i won't be surprised if it shows up but there we have um carnicopia so this is the rewards of recognition the blessing remember i was picking up on like a wish fulfillment with following your dreams because you followed your dreams because you swallowed your pride or because you've 
faced your fears. There's like, you know, cornucopia is having a harvest. This is being blissed upon you by the divine, doing part to your good deeds. So whatever you, you know, this is like something you've earned. Whatever seed you've sown in the past, this is why you're receiving this. And I feel with spirituality, I feel like the spirit is also saying that you have aligned with your person also, in addition to aligning with your purpose, perhaps you and this person, especially with spiritual partnership here, this could be someone that you will not only be in a love ship, but a spiritual connection, bond, union with someone. And that could be the reason why there is deception and envy um, that I'm picking up on. Someone, someone being very strategic, maybe someone trying to intentionally dupe another person or trick another person, manipulate another person. Why am I putting that there? I didn't even shuffle. But yeah, with this strategic, someone's being very strategic. This is also telling you to um, dot your I's, cross your T's, to like really, you know, plan, prepare. You know, don't just take action. Don't just leap um, out there. You know, let your angels guide you. You know, trust trust that inner gumption. We have genius of love playing. So this is like, you know, with genius of love, this is like, you know, be emotionally intelligent when it comes to love, but also use discernment, use your intuition. What did I say about the world card? In traditional tarot, the 21 is the world card with strategy. But in this deck, 29 is the world card and it says uh, the world and strategy. So this is spirit saying that like you have definitely, um, you have evolved in your consciousness. So it's like you already know what steps you need to take because this 22, I mean, this 29 and this 21 reduces to five. And this also reduces to five. So it's like spirit is saying that you have like evolved mentally, like you're spiritually in tune. You have reached that level of knowledge of self. You've learned to navigate the world, learn to navigate difficult circumstances. So it's like spirit is just telling you to plan, prepare, strategize when you take action. And to also use your time wisely to master your craft, hone your skills, you know, to really just sharpen your sword. When you get to the world card, that's like you reach that level of, um, you know, elevation. Like you have reached a deeper, more profound understanding, not only of yourself, but of the world that you live in. So when you get to the spirituality 7-7, seven, seven, that's again, you know, showing like there's spiritual you know and emotional and psychological growth you've been going through or growing through some growing pains and we got 777 here and remember i opened up the reading speaking of 777 i feel like a lot of you are receiving some sort of reward some blessing that's coming in there's an answer to your prayer and it's because for a lot of you as we saw You've reached the end of a cycle. You've wrapped up a karmic cycle. And this wasn't easy. This wasn't an easy task. It wasn't easy to do. And we have this door to romance. So now spirit is opening up the doors to romance, to love connections, love ships. And that could be why someone's a little jelly, why someone could be a little upset trying to block a situation. Divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios? Why is spirituality here? For who's praying on Scorpios downfall? Didn't I say we saw it? there goes envy. So it's another card, deception and envy. That's the psychic um to roll deck. This is the uh, energy oracle, but there goes envy. Now speaking of someone envious, this is someone that broke your heart. It's like this person, like, didn't I say someone like when when you're in pain or when you're going through the motion, it's like they take joy in, in, in seeing you hurt. But now that you are like now that you're someone who's growing and you're you're leveling up, it's like they, they're they're jealous of the work that you've been doing because you've been really healing yourself. This could be the father or the mother to your child because we have this nine here. And remember with nine broken heart. So you're being very guarded, you're being very protective, as you should. And this person here, that 20 deals with judgment. So this is someone that definitely 
um, will be judged for the hurt that they've caused. It's like they're looking out at this heart, this broken heart, and they're like, it's almost like they're smiling, you know? It's like, they, you know, the sun is shining. It's like it brings them joy when there was pain. You were being, um, when you were in pain, almost. So let's tap it. I'm hearing two more shuffles, and then we'll cut the deck on Spirit of Peace, Power, and Protection. Yeah, I see what you did. That's the timeout that you took. Remember that 19, that's 10, and it's 37, 10. You took the time to rest, to rejuvenate, to heal yourself, to purge, to release, to, to go deep within, to see the truth, to see the things that were hidden in plain sight. You know, let's cut this deck. Find spirit of peace, power, and protection. What messages do you have for my beloved Scorpios? Bottom of the deck, clarifying the overall energy of spirituality. Didn't I say someone was coming in with hostility? Somebody coming in, and this is the same number, 26, 8. That's that same energy, that 8. That same 8 hidden. That 8 health. I was saying that's like the 8 of swords. That's what this gives me with this hostilities. Somebody's coming in, you know, trying to, like, pull you in. Remember, whoever angers you controls you. This is someone that's manipulative. This is someone that's also cunning. Because that 8 and that 5 reduces to 13. You already cut this person off. They're mad because you're following your dreams. They're trying to distract you. They're trying to throw you off from pursuing your dreams. They can be jealous because you're pursuing your dreams. Because they see things blossoming. This is someone that's definitely... Aware that you're spiritual, but remember what I was saying also, like this is someone that's like um, very manipulative in the way that they communicate. I feel like this is someone that's a Decepticon. They're not honest. They, they This is the type of person that is, they, they come around to push buttons, to anger you, to frustrate you. And we have the moments, and this is called What's Your Name? So don't give this person that moment because what you have here for what you're attracting to you is the door to personal healing and happiness. That's what they see you're doing. Like I said, you're you're moving forward, upwards, and forward. There's four and there's seven. That's 11. That's you choosing you. That too becomes that choice that you make to go in the direction that's going to bring you happiness. And you're walking through the door. I'm looking at the front door. This person is mad and hostile because now you are completely tuned and tapped in. You can see through the games, the illusion, this ego. This is someone completely egotistical, very proud. Instead of owning up and apologizing, they just they put on a show. And you're you're too spirit. What kind of spiritual energy got time for this? You know, so spirit is telling you, don't even engage, don't even deal with that. This it's time to cut that off. That 13 that this reduces to. It's just confirming that it's a death. It's it's time to end this vicious cycle, this toxic cycle. This is a very vile energy. You don't need to be dealing with that when you have all of this waiting for you. This beautiful energy of the door to personal healing and happiness. And I saw a dove the other day. Remember what I said? I saw two doves and there's a dove here. So this is a sign and a show that there is, you know, some sort of answer to your prayer coming. And this has everything to do with you, you know, going through that startling metamorphosis and transforming. This is like that rebirth. And because you've done what was necessary to get to this point, you're now being rewarded. You're now being acknowledged. So who's praying on Scorpio's downfall and why? Why is this 85 follow your dreams here for what's, uh, what Scorpio is attracting to them? Let me get a message of peace, power, and protection. I'm going to take these two cards because they're sticking out. And we got that carnicopia. This is how someone feels about you. That's what's going to be on the bottom of the deck when we finish this. So what we have is storm warning. I can't make this up. What you're attracting to you. And then we have the world. So you, this is you saying, I, I see you and I'm not even going there with you, beloved. Remember what I said about that world card. You've already learned to navigate tough situations. You're not falling for the okie doke. This is this person trying to antagonize you into some sort of, you know, argument, trying to bait you. I was hearing the word baiting earlier, and that's literally what this is. That's why this is a warning. 
You know, this is like a warning shot. Spirit is going to, you know, give you a warning shot. And that's why these are, you know, that's why it's clarifying that spirituality. Because that seven is your crown. Before you get to the crown, you got the first eye. So you got to use discernment. So just because someone's reaching out or someone may reach out randomly. Someone may just try to like hijack your day. But don't let them. Because this, this storm warning is just that, a warning. Spirit is saying that there could potentially be uh, a situation that escalates, but it, you got to use your own, you know, Christ consciousness to navigate that situation. That's why strategize, we just saw that strategize car. The Spirit is telling you, like, stop, look, listen, then respond, or then react. You know, or be proactive, you know, but don't respond to this. Whenever you respond to that energy with the same type of energy, it only escalates. And that's what this person's, they're ready for war. They're ready for an argument. They're ready. That's why it's a storm warning. You know, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. And it's, we see that you checkmated that ass. This is a checkmate right here. This is a graduation. You are now, this is like you leveling up, you know. Because that four, that one, that's five, that five and that two, that's seven. So that's that same beguiling energy that led, that that energy that was very, um, you know, like sneaky and envious and jealous. It's like they're jealous because you're not falling for the okie doke no more. And you're over here like shining. You're taking your power back, but you're also, you're growing, you're maturing. You're not just staying and stuck. You know, whatever isn't growing, it's dead. And this person obviously seems to be stuck. You know, they like stuck in the second and third and fourth childhood, which means they're just repeating the same cycles, going in the same circles over and over and over, never learning the lessons. And it's wash, rinse, repeat. Next thing you know, it's 10 years later. You look at them, they're still doing the same thing with you. Constant elevation, constant growth, constant ascension. And that's why spirit is also, you know, rewarding you because spirit acknowledges that as well. And we have don't disturb this groove. The system, and we're about to pull the card for how this person feels about you. And then when we say that you're on timeout, you don't put them on timeout. You don't put yourself on timeout. So you will not be bothered because you're going within. That one is like you taking the time to go within, to tap in with self, but to also, you know, set your intentions to manifest your desires. This also gives you an opportunity to gain, you know, those, those grand epiphanies. And it's almost like, you know, you've become very aware of, you know, what you're looking for, what you're seeking in your partnerships. And that could be what you're manifesting is just spiritual partnerships or sacred connections. Like you, you don't want any, you, you don't have any time for, for the nonsense or for the child's play or for the foolery. You don't have no time for that. Someone definitely knows that you have, you have guard, you, you have guards up, you have walls up. And that's why they, they play silly games like saying dumb things to try to bait you into an argument. or Because it's just like any attention is att attention. It's like good attention. This person has been starving for your attention for quite some time, it seems. And instead of being mature, they, they play. This is like emotional manipulation. This is that same person I said that was like, you know, dealing with a lot of anxiety and regrets. You know, this nine, this 26 and this 10. This is self-sabotage. They do this only because it's like they're starved for attention. This is the only way they feel like they can get attention from you is by, you know, almost like angering you. And remember, whoever angers you controls you. And I feel like you've learned that. And that's why you're not falling for the okie doke. That's why everybody got put on time out. And that's why you're putting yourself first. You're your own. You're your first priority. And we have memory lane, Minnie Ripperton. So someone is definitely going down memory lane. It could be this baby mama or baby daddy. Or maybe this is just, you know, if y'all shared a, 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 you know, a fur baby or a fur, you know, a, um, you know, a fur baby together. But this is someone that you co-parented with in some aspect. But I feel like, yeah, how they feel about you is you're, you're just being reaped with all kinds of rewards. This is the reason why there was envy. Because it's like someone thought that they, they thought that they, um, that they had you figured out and they really... They didn't know nothing. So how they feel about you is we have fourth chakra archangel Raphael. That's number 38. That's 11. So they see that you've made a decision to heal thyself. 
That 111 reduces to 3. You've reached that level of self-mastery. That's dealing with the Empress. That 3 also that this breaks down to deals with the 3 of Swords. So it's like you've been healing your heart chakra. You've been healing from past pains. And the angels have stepped out to assist you, to aid you with this healing. This 1 and this 27, that's 9. So that's 1. 1 and 9 again. That's 1, 1, 1, 1. 38 is 11. So that's 1, 1, 1. That's 3. So someone definitely sees you as an empress, very powerful now, strong. This person is like reminiscing. They going down memory lane. They sitting here thinking about, you know, what was, how things used to be. They looking at old photos, perhaps. This is definitely someone that you had to go through. Um, you went through a, a great deal with this person. There was a lot of pain associated with this person but spirit is telling you trust your intuition use your first eye to see spirit is not letting you fall into the trap of being like you know um you know caught up in the rapture spirit is like use your first eye i know it you know because this person may come in like i said and try to be uh emotionally manipulative like using you know old photos or old songs or just trying to pull on your emotions in some way because with memory lane, many Ripperton, this is someone that definitely is like trying to be um, cunning. Because remember, we saw that strategize. And you have this potential warning for a storm. And then you also have hostilities here. So let's tap in. Why is the 71 health, 74 uh, nature, 32 music, spiritual career here? Bottom of the deck, look at this financial constraint. Someone could be coming back. Because they struggle financially. This is what's hidden. This 13 is a death. So that 13, that death could be saying that there's an end to financial constraints. That 13 reduces to 4. It's like continue, you know, working on your craft. Continue studying. Continue learning. Continue building your wealth of knowledge. And you will see improvements. I definitely feel like someone could have lost a job or someone could be um, financially struggling. This is what's hidden. Maybe someone walked away from a situation that was sucking them dry financially. Somebody could have been in a relationship, you know, and realizing they were being used for money or there was just, you know, material, uh, material wealth and thing, money. It was like more so focused on the material aspect. And not so much love. Someone walked away perhaps from even a job or from a situation that was causing a lot of stress. To go pursue something that they, because with this 27 and this is 27 also walking away. And it's like you're walking away from something that made you feel like this, this lack. Or uh, it was like perhaps this is a way of thinking, a poverty mindset. And this is someone now like feeling refreshed, rejuvenated, you know, seeing things more optimistically and pursuing that. Maybe someone was like bound to a situation that was not improving, not growing. And then they finally freed themselves, walked away from that situation. And I see this man holding a heart. So walking away from a situation that left you feeling bankrupt emotionally, mentally, financially to walking into a potential situation with someone who's like very supportive and very giving very resourceful so the cards that actually flew out that's going to clarify the 71 health the 74 nature the 32 music the 78 spiritual career we have the temple path so this shows that there is a sense of like someone being you know almost like pruned for this spiritual career Someone being, you know, chosen or there's like obviously some destined, uh, you know, this is like destined, whatever this spiritual career that you're pursuing or whatever this is that you are um, embarking upon. I see that there is a sense of like maybe even um, in your future, marriage could be in your future. This 12 breaks down to three. So this is even someone seeing the potential, seeing the opportunities. The community is showing that you have your angels that have been really helping you. You have 777 seven, 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 and 7 here on the deck. 
or on the table. So this shows that your angels and your guides, whenever you see these sevens, these are like, this is your support system, your spirit team, your angels, your guides, your ancestors. They're all, you know, coming together to help you, to aid you, to assist you. And they're conspiring behind the scenes, perhaps to bring you into a divine union, because this is like a, a, a location where weddings and, and, and um, proposals usually take place. And if you look in the ground, it's almost like it's like a yin yang kind of symbol. So it's almost like saying that, you know, this feminine energy, because that 12 is the three, that's the empress. Or even if it's a masculine energy, it's like you're attracting someone like your spirit team, your angels, ancestors are aligning someone to you. And we have Kambada, the womb playing. So this is like womb men. This is the feminine energy. And I'm speaking of the Empress, which is like the womb man, that is the, the, the divine feminine entity, the Umi, that is the maternal figure, the, uh, you know, the matriarch. She's also the mother, you know, she's the earth, she's, she is who gives birth, you know, she gives birth to babies, gives birth to new ideas, new ways of thinking, new projects. So this is a feminine energy, perhaps. We got this woman holding a coin. So what did I say about your finances will improve? Whatever was happening, this is like when you walk away from things that keep you feeling stuck, even if it's a job, doesn't matter if you're getting paid a certain amount of money. No amount of money is worth your peace, your peace of mind, your happiness. And I feel like some of you mustered up the strength to do just that. This is this is a change that you've made. That 13 shows some of you walked away perhaps in the month of April. Some of you could have walked away from a position or, you know, maybe you were really struggling for quite some time. But now the struggle is over because we have this woman holding a coin. I feel like you really have been working very hard. Maybe you're going to receive some sort of offer. This 42 breaks down to six. So I do see like a victory or some sort of breakthrough financially. I definitely get a sense of like someone is coming in to offer you, um, to offer you something because your community, this is like maybe a prayer, as I said, that you've been, you know, wishing for, hoping for, asking for, because that same energy, this seven and six breaks down to 13. And this also is 13 financial constraint. So it's like if you were struggling, your ancestors, angels have heard your prayers and they will jump and leap into action to provide you the assistance you need. And this will put you in a position where you will be uh, self-sufficient because this is like that queen of cups. You know, this is this is your rightful position. It's like it's your birthright to live in opulence, to be successful, to not have to want for anything or need for anything. This is your birthright. And we have this happy family. So you are absolutely attracting someone that is the yin to your yang, yang to your yin. Um, this is someone that, you know, with that 1111, because the four is the vibration of the 1111, which is the vibration of the twin flame or a spirit, you know, a soulmate or a spiritual connection, a spirit, sacred partner. Um, this is what that's showing. So this is like that happily ever. This is someone you have manifested or someone that spirit is, is aligning you with. That's going to speak your love language. That's going to emote. That's going to be protective. That's going to be devoted, committed, loyal, faithful, trustworthy, protective of you. And all about family. This is a family oriented man, family oriented woman. There's a lot of happiness and joy and peace and stability here. And you all ground one another. This is a very sacred bond, a sacred connection. And I feel it's because you had to learn to stand independent on your own. Instead of being a part of like codependent connections, it's like you had to learn to, to be independent on your own. Next, we have yin yang. I can't make this up. So you are attracting someone that's on your frequency, that 22 double number yet again is showing that you both have had to really work on finding your own 
balance within yourselves, like emotionally, spiritually, like you did a lot of internal work. You've healed your heart chakra. You've had to learn to really um, get rid of faulty belief systems and habits and behaviors and really heal, you know, and really be true to yourself, honest with yourself. I feel this too is also showing that not only are you finally in harmony and balance with yourself, but I feel whoever you're attracting is also that. And there is a sense of, again, you know, because that 2-2 two, two reduces to 4. You got 44. That's 8. That's a wish fulfillment. The reading did start at 8. So someone does feel, you know, that you are like this wish fulfillment, obviously, because what you're attracting is follow your dreams. So, you know, as you start to heal that self and learn what your love language is and you learn that you are a co-creator with source, you can start manifesting and setting your intentions and calling in what you desire. And when you call in what you desire from a, a very uh, sound space or sound position, you can attract beautiful things to you. But both of these are fours, as is this 85 follow your dreams which is like a wish fulfillment a blessing that 85 breaks down to 13 that's four then this is four and that's four so it's like you're attracting what you deserve what you desire and we have third chakra archangel shamuel so this is again moving to the beat of your own drum and being more strong more stronger like strength this is courage this is wise dome that stomach is also like a second brain so this is also about using your inner compass inner wisdom your gumption this is also about healing you know learning that you are the magi so let's see why is this 50 um this five change seven personal growth for who's scorpio um for who's praying on scorpio's downfall we got the magician here and that's the outcome and we have joe to see what about us so someone could be trying to manipulate a situation because they see that you're changing, you're growing, and you're moving on. It's 15. I mean, it's 57. That's 12. So this is like, you know, again, that's the hangman. You're looking at things, looking at life from a different scope. You see things now. You you have new passions. You have new goals. You have new aspirations. And you wish to pursue those things. You're no longer holding on to any toxicity. You're no longer holding on to any old belief systems. And it's like, you know, you're now realizing you're the alchemist, that you're the magi. Someone's also seeing you as, you know, as some sort of, some great teacher or healer. Because that, that's showing that you, you're teaching another person. You've triggered something in another person. With this magician, it's like someone could either be trying to manipulate your energy, like I said earlier. Or this could just be speaking to you. And look what's playing. We got Santana, Black Magic Woman. So there's definitely someone doing black magic as I'm speaking about someone manipulating energy. And that's exactly what the magician does. And someone's trying to manipulate your energy. Why? Because you're changing, you're evolving, you're growing, you're healing, you're learning, you're maturing, you're leveling up, you're happier. And they're trying to sabotage there's some someone is trying to bind you from leaving trying to keep you from leaving with black magic woman someone could be going to a practitioner to bind you to block you from walking away to block you from leaving someone's trying to also cause financial constraints this is someone that you knew was like sucking you dry financially also this is someone I'm hearing a user, someone that lived vicariously through you, someone that may, you know, come in. Remember what I said about someone calling, communicating, that's the throat chakra. This is someone that could potentially be going through financial constraints and they're trying to perhaps um, like emotionally manipulate you or get you to, to assist them. Let me get one more message. And look what the name, it says Tanglewood. So this is like someone who is trying to get you tangled up in some nonsense. Divine spirit of peace, power, and protection. Who is this praying on Scorpio's downfall? Why? 
Archangel Mikael is here. Whenever I see him, I get excited. He's here to cut you free from the karmic cord yokes, hexes, and spells. Call on Archangel Mikael. Tomorrow is his day. So this is the reverse. You got 3553. So Archangel Mikael is here. Let me put it where it makes sense. So Archangel Mikael sees what's going on. You know, what goes around comes back around. That's the number eight. Remember the karmic situation? And I felt like, you know, because we saw that 88 abundance. So you were dealing with a karmic and a karmic was also dealing with you. So you taught them lessons and they taught you lessons. But Archangel Mikael was here protecting you. You have quite um, a lot of uh, angels that have showed up for you. So you have Archangel Shamuel. You have Archangel Raphael. You also had Archangel Metatron show up. And now you have Archangel Mikael showing up. So this is just showing, like I said, like you are um, definitely anointed. You have some sort of purpose. You know, you're chosen. And uh, your angels don't play when it comes to you. And this is the reason why potentially you could be attacked. Why people could be gunning for you or jealous of you or envious. Because, you know, they, they are fully aware that you're protected. Especially with spiritual partnership. And then you have spirituality, you know, here as well. So you could be coming into some really um, sacred bonds, unions. Someone's trying to block that with black magic woman. Be mindful. You know, you could keep um, a glass of water at night and place um and put like some you know some salt oh sorry katara you know put some salt in the um in that the in that cup of water and hold that cup and like set your intentions um you could literally say like something as far as um with this salt i'm clearing my paths of any bad energy or witchcraft that may be blocking the flow, um, that may be blocking my flow or blocking my peace. You could even say negative energy go away in salt's presence. You cannot stay with the energy of the elements, water, and earth. I clean the space of any witchcraft or evil eye that may be blocking my path. And so mode it be. You could say that as well. That's just to like clear the energy. It's an easy way to do that. You could even put like three garlic cloves. Um, and um, you know put like an evil eye. Draw an evil eye on each of them. Put it in a glass of water with some sea salt. Set your intention to you know draw out any negative energy. To protect you you know out of you you know out of your space and place it under your bed for like seven days and then take that water and then dump it you know down the toilet bowl followed by some sea salt you know just to like cleanse your energy because there's definitely someone that's um that's like lingering here so let's see so archangel mikael is here to protect you which is always a beautiful thing so you see how this person is coming in like wrong and strong well archangels Mikael is here to protect you. Okay, so let's tap in. So look at that, that financial constraints and this walking away. These are the two cards that flew out and those were the same cards we kept seeing. So this is someone that's trying to manipulate this, this into your life. Like this is someone that's really trying to, you know, bring about some sort of financial constraint or trying to block some sort of blessing. They're trying to prevent you from leaving. You see how she's turning around? If you're walking away, you just walk straight. Someone's trying to, like, convince you to stay. That's why she's turning around. You know, you have to trust your intuition. Because this 27 means that something is done, done, thin. But Archangel Mikael is here. You know, because this situation isn't going to lead to nothing but, you know, heartache and pain. So you have to protect yourself. And you have to learn from your past mistakes. You know, you have to value yourself because whoever this is, they don't, they never appreciated you. You know, and I feel like you do realize that you're going to see something for what it truly is. Like you're going to have some sort of epiphany here, like something's coming um, to light. But I do see that you do walk away because it says walking away, but you, 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 know, you should have walked away. You know, someone's trying to prevent you from walking away, though. I do feel that. But let's tap in. Let's see. 
So let's get some messages from the dark grimoire. And what did I say about somebody? The nine of swords. And that's that nine of swords. See how he's looking at himself in the mirror. He can't even recognize himself. Looks like a monster. Like this is that person. This person is like been taken over by anger jealousy pride and the you know they can't even recognize themselves because they've been drunk with revenge or drunk with anger and that's why spirit is like trust your intuition because whoever this is it's like they're, they're just trying to be cunning now you know when it comes to communication it's like this energy is like they're only going to be deceptive they're only going to be um conniving is what i'm hearing and we have the knight of chalices what did i say about emotional manipulation so that's the only resort is like when you feel this type of anger and frustration when someone lives like rent free in your mind to the point where you're anxious stressed out it's like the next thing is like okay now they start conjuring up some sort of manipulative tactic you know just to get your attention because this is an attention whore I was hearing the word narcissistic earlier. So someone is definitely dealing with a narcissist. And we have the Hierophant. You've learned. See how you've been mastering yourself. You've leveled up. You're no longer falling for this person's tricknology. You're no longer falling for the, the foolishness. You're like, you, you've definitely wisened. And that's why they're grown. they've grown hostile. Because that's 77. Like I said, that's the Hierophant. See the Hierophant number five. That Hierophant number five, and that's what the 77 is, spirituality, 14. So you're spiritually wiser, which means you're not going to fall for the tactics of this hostile individual. You're not falling into the trap of, of getting angry and arguing and screaming and fussing and fighting. You're not doing that. Look what you did instead. You know, with the Queen of Swords here, or the King of Swords, you leveled up. You're not, you, you're wiser now. You know, you're thinking more logically. You're not letting anyone emotionally manipulating you. you. You're dealing with people accordingly. You know, so if they come around you talking reckless, you got a sword too. And it's Chop Chop Suey. Wu-Tang style, protect your neck. You've already collected a few. So it's like this person is, it, it will behoove them to, to play nice because it's like you, you got their number. <laughs> you, you, you got their number. You, you can definitely... Um, meet them where they are because you are in that king of swords energy even for this hostile energy you can definitely teach them a thing or two because the king of swords is very very brilliant very uh like i said very um masterful he's a he's a wordsmith so what we have now is the nine of wands didn't i say you were very protective now you know you've established boundaries that's how they see you especially with this uh 63 parenting and that 27 spiritual partnership so it's like you have boundaries you're not just letting anybody in because you've already learned from the past that you was dealing with a lot of sussies you know a lot of fugazis a lot of fakes a lot of people that projected you know perceived one thing you know they they, they portrayed one thing but sh you know were completely something else so you have like that fiery wall of protection around you archangel mikael is protecting you you know we saw archangel mikael there with the sword so let's tap in so let's clarify these messages divine spirit peace power and protection let me get one more shuffle and then we're gonna right out divine spirit you get a message of peace power and protection for my beloved scorpio spirit clarify these messages Bottom of the deck will clarify the 77, spirituality, the 26, hostilities. Bottom of the deck, we have zero, and this is the fool. So this is someone that's definitely feeling foolish. They could be feeling like they're going crazy. You know, they feel like they, you know, because they, they like I said, they're, they're definitely like self-sabotaging. This is all happening and taking place in their own mind. It's like they've driven themselves crazy. I feel like they've lost you, and that's what's really causing a lot of anxious you know anxiousness as well because you've left you know you, you exited stage left you didn't have no time for the nonsense and now it's like now that they see like you really mean what you say and and you're not backing down or you have it back down it's like it's almost drew it's 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 made them realize something 
it's like they have no choice but to like see the the damage that they've caused or to take ownership you know look at this the nine flew out the nine of swords was on the bottom of the deck this person is having a lot of regret they could be suffering from insomnia this is definitely someone perhaps maybe there or like you know maybe they're regretting some of the things they may have said in anger you know maybe they're having some sort of uh some sort of um restless nights as i said resting on a guilty conscience and this fool here this zero we're about to pull the card for what you're attracting to you and we have that 85 remember that's the 13 uh following your dreams then we have this 10 storm warning and then the world so this is about like making sure to choose wisely all of these cards reduced to um what is that four five seven so that's seven so this is about taking action moving in a different direction this is a new beginning taking a leap of faith so this is literally like following your dream following your dreams your aspirations taking that leap of faith and this is could be the reason why someone is really you know angry you know having a lot of regret so why is this 85 follow your dream thank you spirit this card is there and it says the queen of chalices you're loving yourself you, you've learned to love yourself. You've learned to put you first. This is you definitely seeing through the illusion on the back of her throne. There is a first eye. So it's like you're very intuitive. So you're trusting your intuition. That seven is the crown chakra. So you've learned to trust your intuition to not just go by your emotions, but to also go by your discernment, by seeing into the situation more deeply so now you're more protective of who you give your heart to who you give your cup to this is like you've learned from past experiences that world card means that you've learned to navigate some really difficult situations and that's why this storm is just merely a warning because you're using your first eye to see you've learned you've tapped in that seven is the spirituality that's also personal growth so that means that you've grown personally to trust your intuition, to trust your own intuition and not trust other people's words over your own intuition. You could feel something before someone says anything. You don't need someone to validate your feelings. So why is this 37 time out, 27 spiritual partnership, 63 part parenting, 38 uh, Archangel Raphael here for how this person Scorpio is attracting to them. Feel about them for what? Who's praying on their downfall? And we still got the fool here. Leaps of faith. So we have the hangman. So someone's definitely like analyzing you, observing you, looking at you from a different point of view, different perspective. This is someone that may have had some sort of addictions, afflictions, drinking, drugging, something in the past. This is that person that was like, um, I feel out of control, very egoic. And we have this uh, three of swords here. See this three of swords, the depiction on this card is she is not allowing herself to be haunted by her past or to be haunted by what has already taken place. She's very protective and guarded, guarding her heart. And all this gossipers, you see, like, this, these are like ghosts. So these could be the ghosts from the past. And what's playing right now, pardon me. What's playing right now is we have, um, dang, what happened to the music? Oh, we have um, Mary J. Blige, and this is Joe to see if loving you is all that I have to do. So, and I don't want to do anything else. So this is like with the Three of Swords. Like, this is like, that's like, you really genuinely love someone, but they, they, they just toyed with your heart because it led to heartache, you know? And I feel like now someone is forced to see this situation in a whole new light. Maybe this is even you being forced to look at the situation for what it was. There was a lot of gossiping, I feel, because these ghosts look like they're just opening their mouth gossiping, you know? And words are spells, spells, bonds, or maybe that's just other people like speaking ill and evil eyeing. That could have caused a lot of it. But I see one ghost, two ghosts, three, four, five. There could be five 
people, you know, that really caused a lot of, um, you know, that caused a lot of, um, that caused the demise of a relationship. Maybe there were five people that are speaking of, ill of your name or five people that are significant. Maybe the number five in general is just of significance. But I see like you protecting your heart now with that three of swords. You got your heart, you know, your, your body language is showing like you're not allowing anyone in. You know, as we can see here, very, very protected, particular of who you give your 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 um your chalice to now. And we have also the nine of uh, the knight of wands. So that's definitely like you you're you're like warding off any negativity. You're taking action and moving to the beat of your drum now. And you have the Ace of Swords, so you're cutting yourself free. You've cut yourself free from the negativity, from the drama. You're also able to see through the illusions. So whoever these people were, you know, could have been five people that you thought you were cool with. And then you discovered that these people were like, you know, like kind of like a defamation of character, so to speak. Like just gossiping, talking-ish. Maybe they knew, you know, about someone you were with was cheating or maybe there was five different women five different men you you know your person was creeping with or lying laying with whatever the case may be five people were just running their mouth they had nothing but negative ish to spew and and say about you and it's really just based off the fact that you're not giving them anything you know like you're really not bothered you're not even arguing you don't see like look at her body language She's unbothered. Even if you're masculine, it's just like unbothered. You're not you're not falling for the okie doke. This is something that you've learned to do. Like you learn not to feed or fan the fuel, to fan the fire. It's like you've just learned to let it die out. Like what people say about you is really them concealing who they are, you know? So this right here shows, like, with this Ace of Swords, like, you see right through the through the nonsense, right through the trichnology. And with this Knight of Wands, it's like you're, you're cut, chopping off heads, you're taking action, you're taking names, and you're keeping it moving. And I heard the word fiercely, fearlessly, you know. So this is like not falling for it. You're moving on. Like, they see you as really bold now. And with if loving you is wrong, I don't want to be, I don't want to do anything. That's what you like. You, you're not, you're loving yourself. If loving yourself is wrong, you're not doing anything. This is what you're doing. You're loving you. You're minding your business. Why is it 71 health, 74 nature, 32 music, 78 spiritual career, temple path, community, woman holding a coin, happy family, yin yang. Third shot for Archangel Shamuel here. What's hidden in the energy for who's praying or Scorpio's downfall? They get a message of peace, power, and protection. Thank you, Spirit. Bottom of the deck, you have the Hierophant. So definitely you've learned some things. This is Wise Dome. This is definitely power. This is you gaining your power. We have the Hermit here. So you have been really like, you know, in your own bubble. You know, you've been really, you know, some call it anti, but it's really just in seclusion, in isolation, mastering your craft, sharpening your sword. You know, this is you really learning. This is also looking back and aware, awareness. This is introspective work, not doing anything unless it sits right, feels right in your spirit, in your, in your gut. And because you've taken that time out, it's like you're going to attract what you are. As you balance yourself, as you learn to love thyself, you attract what you are. As you get your finances in order and you learn to be self-sufficient and independent and you establish that solid foundation for yourself, you attract You attract the same. So this is beautiful. This hierophant shows you may have like, you may, you may really like start seeing um, the results of your hard work paying off. Like I feel like there's really about to be um things are about to multiply financially even in terms of your emotional um sense like you you're, you're going to be very elated 
very happy, overjoyed. Why is this five change, seven personal growth? Thank you, spirit. And we have the seven of pentacles. So this is like you walked away from, you know, situations where you felt like all of the responsibilities kind of weighed on your shoulders. It was like it was always you who had to come up with the master plan to get things done. And it, it just became overwhelming. And you had to walk away from it. It also, it was like, it was very um, taxing financially. Something had to change. I'm hearing I could do bad by myself. We have Gangstar. And this is um, D-Y, um, D-W-Y-C-K. Featuring um, Nice and Smooth. Rising Power to Gangstar. So this is the fool here. This is like, you know, really like looking at things for what they truly are. This is also, if you look, there's like a lamp right above his head. So it's almost like someone is gaining, you know, some sort of epiphany. Someone's seen something. There's that same five and seven is 12. That's the hangman that we just saw here. So it's like being forced in a position to look at things, you know, from that vantage point that you may not have looked at it from before. It's like looking at things from a different angle. You know, perhaps this is you also, you know, with this, with this magician in the mirror, this is someone also trying to, you know, figure out another angle to try to dupe someone. This is like, you know, a puppet master, someone very cunning. And you have this monster like right over this person. And you can see this like, look at the flame. He almost looks demonic, you know, in a sense. If you look at his face, looks like he's wearing, you know, that um, that mask that the magician wears or the, the, a mask. Do you see that? Do you see what I see? It looks like this man is wearing a mask. So this is that person. This is interesting. Let me get one more message. You know, Seven of Pentacles, you walked away because you was unfulfilled, unsatisfied. And then there was, look at this monster, like, in your ear. Like, somebody could have been, that's what I was getting, like, self-sabotage. Maybe this is a, a depiction of that person, you know, that person that was manipulative, that devil, that envious person, you know, that could have had you under some sort of illusion or had you in some sort of, like, mind uckery, gaslighting. We got the two of wands. So this is really, like, there's a choice. There's a choice you're going to have to make. There goes the emperor here. I feel like you're going to boss up. Like, this is definitely like, you're going to need to make a decision. Because remember, I was picking up narcissistic energy. It's picking up a father, children's mother, children's father. And you have this parenting here. And then that emperor represents like, you know, the mother to your child, father to your child. Um, it could also represent a boss. But this is like literally with this uh, two of wands. Choosing wisely, maybe making a decision to leave something behind that you know deep down no longer serves your highest good. There could be some someone really trying to um, figure out the best option, but I feel like they need to consult with their own higher self. There could be some level of deception around someone. This is like keeping your business to yourself. I'm, I'm really strong in getting that. Let me get one more message. For the outcome for who's praying on Scorpio's downfall. Thank you, Spirit. That flew all the way over there. And we have the wheel. So this is definitely someone that... Okay, so there's a turning point in this situation. Something is done, done, Finn, I'm hearing. There's something coming full circle. I feel like you will make a decision to move forward. Because something that's destined is coming in. So there will be like a turning point. If there were delays, I feel like Spirit is um, ensuring... Because it's almost like someone was trying to to block some sort of opportunity, just as I said. Trying to block someone from, you know, going in the direction they need to go in. You can see the distraction there. And then you can see this monster there trying to distract this person. Even though they are, you know, you, you've been doing all the work on your own. When you've got the Seven of Pentacles, it shows that you're basically, you know, doing all the work alone. You know, and when you realize that, that's when you, you say, oh, okay, it's, it's, since I'm doing it alone, it's since this is, um, you know, since I've been the only one putting in the work and really establishing uh, any type of solid foundation, then 
I shall continue to do this on my own because that's really what you've been doing anyway. It's just been under the guise of having someone here. But this person is just in your ear, but we're, they're not really sitting and mapping and thinking. And, you know, they're just like, just kind of manipulating, you know. It seems more manipulative because he's like right around where his head is. You know, that's where the psychic attacks. That's where the confusion. And now we have the queen of swords. So... You can see past all the illusions, you know. You're not taking kindly to anyone manipulating or trying to be more cunning than they actually are. You're chopping out anything that doesn't serve you. And we have Rob Bass and DJ Easy Rock, It Takes Two. So definitely, that's why I was saying earlier, like, you know, don't allow yourself to get caught up in the rapture of this nonsense. Because it does take two. It takes two to make a thing go wrong and right. So... If this person is coming in all hostile, ready to argue, ready to fight, and when you take them up on that offer, then you're just as guilty. Remember, Archangel Mikael is here. So let your angels, you know, kind of like fight your battles. You don't need to in, 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 indulge or engage. Because I feel like it's a test, honestly. So let's tap in. So we got the Ace of Wands here. So definitely focus on your new beginning. You're very attractive right now. You're attractive and it's like you are also attracting a lot of wealth. You're attracting a lot of attention. You're definitely seen as someone manifesting and co-creating, someone very powerful. And there goes that emperor again. So someone privately, like someone is definitely like, you You definitely like rent space in someone's head. This is like a hidden, this person is like hidden, like hiding the fact that they're thinking of you. Hiding the fact that you're think they're dreaming of you. They see you here. Look at that. Independent, self-sufficient. Didn't I say I saw the nine of pentacles? That's the epitome of that. Like you've literally rebuilt your your empire on your own after some sort of ending. Even though... Raw base is saying it takes two. It takes two. You you had to do it alone. You we see clearly you have done it alone. You could be attracting, you know, a divine masculine also. You could be attracting someone that is um well to do, very, you know, devoted. We see here that this is showing like you receiving some generous offers. Maybe that could have been, you know, what was happening in the past, like knowing someone was giving to more than two because that six of pentacles is often like you know someone breadcrumbing that's how it's coined or depicted but you are you know definitely moving in a different direction i feel you're not allowing yourselves to be uh stuck there goes the hangman seeing things from a different perspective this is even mapping out a new plan strategizing a new plan you know then taking action Someone also could be, a, you know, like finally seeing, um, you know, how attractive you are and feeling threatened by it because it's like, you know, perhaps, as I said, your growth is is very, um, it, it's, it's very evident. So this person could feel like you're slipping away. So we have this Ace of Wands. Someone's definitely attracted to you. You are really, you know, manifesting some new beginning. What you're, you're manifesting new starts. This is what's destined to be in your life. This is fortune. This is abundance. This is success. This is financial freedom. You're going to have a lot of options here. You're going to have a lot of options, beloved. With this Wheel of Fortune, this is like Spirit saying that this chapter is wrapping up. You know, what's meant to move it's like the, the, this 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 is a a final chapter this is something coming full circle but this also says there's a turning point so if someone was trying to delay block you know stunt your grove put a stick in your wheel you know whoever that was it's like they, they're going to regret it because they're going to have to witness some fortune fame success expansion Things will be flourishing. These are what you've manifested with this Ace of Wands. It's 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 definitely coming in quickly. And it's because of, you know, you taking initiative and wrapping up those cycles that weren't serving you. 
And we have the system, you are in my system plane. So this person can't get you out of their head, I heard in my mind's eye. What we have is the nine of wands. Did I say that you were very seen as guarded, locked off? Like you're not allowing anyone in because of however you may have been treated in the past, where you were constantly doing all this work, you know, trying to cultivate and nurture relationships where others were taking it for granted, not appreciating you. Remember, we saw appreciate. It's like you, 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 you're over that ish. You know, you've gotten stronger. Look at her arms. Look at his arms. They've gotten stronger. But you also see he's at the end of the road. He's back in town, which means he's back to the, you know, to the back to the essence of himself. That ten of wands reduces to one, and that's a new beginning. And this new beginning, chasing dreams. You know, you're not tra chasing problems. You're gonna chase your dreams. You're going to avoid circumstances that are going to lead to problems. And because of that, you graduate because you're not falling for the okie doke. You've reached a level of self-mastery by maintaining and being strong, being confident in yourself and letting go of the things that had you feeling overburdened. You're getting your just due. I feel like whoever, however they feel about you, whoever this is, it's like this person wants justice. This could have been, like I said, a husband, an ex, someone that you had like common law marriage, even if you lived with this person. If you don't have children, maybe you have fur babies, as I said, like a cat, a dog, maybe you share birds, lizard, I'm hearing a snake, you know, but this is like someone that uh, you definitely have had some sort of breakup. It was, you know, maybe a contract, like a lease was um, broken so that you all can separate, so that you all can sever the ties. I'm definitely feeling like this is also saying like you're getting your just due because you've wrapped up a cycle because you've remained you made righteous you you did things the right way and with you are in my system someone can't get you out of their system out of their head like i said you rent space in someone's head rent free like you they can't get you out of their system they constantly think it and that's why they're growing more angry because it's almost like, you know, they're getting back everything they sent to you. That's what Lady Karma is. What goes around, it comes right back around. So whatever they threw at you, whatever dirt they was throwing on your name, gossiping, lying, cheating, creeping, all of this nonsense they was doing quietly, privately, you know, it's like they, they, they're they getting some kickback, some blowback. Because Mama Ma Ma has everyone's address. So everything's being handled fairly and justly. Wow. So let's get that message that flew out. Bottom of the deck, we got the Knight of Swords. This is going to be on the bottom of the deck for when we pull what's hidden. So what we have is Knight of Pentacles. So you're attracting something to you which is taking its time because good things take time to create. So Archangel Mika, um, I'm sorry, Raphael is definitely helping you to heal your heart chakra. But I feel like the more you heal, the closer this person is to coming in. Because you don't want to charge someone new for someone in your past's um, crimes. So it's like you have to heal that self so that you can learn your love language, so you can learn your worth. This is definitely someone that's going to express or communicate their feelings, their emotions. This could be someone that will, you know, say something um, that may be shocking even. Like you may find out that someone has emotions that you weren't aware of. And this is not just someone. This is someone that you have a very spiritual bond. Someone familiar. Someone you know. This could be someone in your, you know, in your environment. Because we do have nature. So perhaps someone, this is right next to the spiritual partnership. So this could be someone you have, a, you will find. Even if you meet them for the first time. When you meet them, you'll feel like the connection is very organic. Very natural. A la natural. It's like the conversations are very fluid. Very deep, stimulating. You feel like you know this person from a former life, or you've met this person before because there's so many, uh, so many synchronicities or familiarities, commonalities. So there is something rushing in news, communication, 
Someone could be even coming in, very hostile, trying to bait you into an argument. Don't fall for the okie doke. Remember, this is what's hidden in the energy. So you may not see that this is coming, but trust your intuition. Use your first eye to see. This is someone that, you know, you don't see them coming because you mind in your business. This is the hermit. The her hermit knows the answers he seeks are found within. He also knows to take a step back from the outside noise, you know, and then someone could be trying to come in to disturb your groove like the system was just singing. We have queen. Another one bites the dust. So this person that's coming in trying to disturb your groove, it's going to be a big L for them. They're going to look like an L7 because they're going to bite the dust. So basically you're not giving them the time of day because you're, you know, you're protecting your peace. You're a wizard. You don't fool for the okie doke. You're very wise and your gut has told you to protect yourself. So you don't do anything like I said unless it sits right in your spirit. Why is the 71 health, 74 nature, 32 music, 78 spiritual career, 12 temple path, 7 um, community, 22 yin yang, 37 archangel Shamuel, uh, this 4 happy ending, and 42 woman holding a coin for what's hidden. So who's praying or Scorpio's now for the wise? So we got the five of pentacles. Someone definitely feels left out in the cold because you have you have been like you've completely blocked yourself off and you have been doing a lot of reflection, like self-reflection. Someone feels left out in the cold. This person holds on to you and holds on to the idea of you. This is that same person agonizing, stressing over you. Um, this could be someone that you may have had. Um, you know, you may have been dealing with in the past. Maybe this is someone that may have left you, you know, out in the cold and you just kept on, you know, pushing and, and you've eventually have been able to recover. You've been able to, you know, get back on, you know, get back in control of things, get back into, you know, balance. I see that your angels were helping you because this community shows that they've been uh, definitely conspiring behind the scenes to open things up. You also have Archangel Shamuel, Archangel Raphael, Archangel uh, Mikael here. So it's like you you never got discouraged. This shows like, you know, really, um, you know, how, how strong these people are walking in a blizzard with no shoes on. That takes a different type of strength, willpower, determination to overcome a situation. Even though you feel abandoned and rejected and left out in the cold, you know, even, you know, if you have a child or if you have, um, you know, other loved ones that suffered right along with you, it's like this wasn't an easy feat, but you were quite the leader, quite, you know, um, you know, you were, you were quite the, um, the leader, the boss that you needed to be, to be able to overcome something that was very daunting, very difficult. But with, this shows perseverance. This shows resilience. This shows like you're you're literally in your mind. You know that's that 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 just staying hopeful and 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 being optimistic, even though there's a blizzard. It's like you're going to seek out, you know, the assistance you need. You know, and you're close to receiving it because this looks like it could be a temple or a church. It could be some sort of, um, you know, it could be, um, you know, like a, a, a place where you could get assistance, some a financial loan where you will get the help you need. You know, there will be some blessings showered upon you with this four of pentacles. You, you're learning to be more guarded now, you know, to really protect yourself. But it also shows someone is holding on to you for dear life. Why is this 57, 5, change, 7, personal growth, 53, the magician in the mirror, 13, um, financial constraints, 27, walking away, uh, 7 of pentacles, the 2 of wands, and the fortune card here for the outcome for my beloved Scorpios. we got the 7 of swords. Didn't I say someone was deceptive? That seven is showing deception. This is someone really trying to sabotage. This is someone coming in, trying to take something. This is an energy vampire. This is a leech. This is a parasite. This is someone that really wants to um, block a blessing. They want to stick a wheel in your, you know, stick a, a, a you know, stick a, um, they're trying to place a stick in your wheel, so to speak, so it won't continue to spin. 
This is someone that does not want your blessings to come in. They're trying to cause you confusion or cause you to be in a perpetual state of uh, conflict. Like, because you see this two of wand. And then if you look, this this person, this this trickster is leaving two swords. So the twos is like having someone stuck in two minds. This is that same person that used to play mind games in the past. Have you confused and conflicted? Maybe this is someone that angers you, frustrates you. They're always in your head, lying. You know, this is definitely that person that I feel when you tried to walk away, they will always say things they think you wanted to hear. This is someone that definitely um, caused a lot of financial um, loss, you know, a lot of financial damage. This is how they left you. You know, when if they did leave, if they did walk away, they left you with bills out of the wazoo. This is a this is definitely someone that intentionally does this. They come in because it's like like I said, they get joy out of this, and they definitely have a lot of options. They definitely like to play games. This is someone that definitely like, you know, likes to play games. I just get someone who is like a, a player. And they're not even that good at it, you know? This is a very juvenile energy. This is someone that does not take responsibility for how they treat people. This is that narcissistic energy, you know? And so you have to do your due diligence to like be able to see the forest from the trees, so to speak. Don't get duped, don't get it, um, you know, lost in translation. Who is this person that's praying the Scorpio's down for? What is the outcome? Let me get one more message for this person. Ooh, good Lord. All right. So what's on the bottom of the deck? We got the King of Wands. So the King of Wands is really someone that really feels like they are the isnet, you know, like they feel like, you know, they, they can do what they want to do. We got the Queen of Pentacles here. My cat is literally resting on my back. If I move, she's going to fall. Um, Hold on one moment. <laughs> yeah. So what flew out is we have the Queen of Pentacles. So this is what you are due. You get the Queen of Pentacles twice. So this shows that you are very regal, very royal, very practical, very, you know, resourceful, very domestic, grounded even. And you also have mastered your craft. You've reached that level of self-mastery. That's what you was working on here with the Seven of Pentacles. And this person was trying to get in your head to cause you to question yourself, to doubt yourself. But you continue to master your craft. For some of you, if you had, you know, your own doubts, you, it's like you, we see clearly like you've you've overcome that. But there is this energy of deception around you. And I feel like this is someone that does try to, you know, make shame you or make you feel responsible for their well-being or for their financial circumstance. And this is just someone that is, is a master manipulator. With this star, what did I say about you receiving a wish fulfillment? There's a blessing coming in for you. I feel you've manifested this because you really focused your energy on healing. And in healing, you've learned to find that balance. You've learned to really, you know, master your craft. It's like you've definitely taken the necessary time to self-reflect, you know, and to get rid of the mask, to get rid of the things that don't serve you. And for that, you've become like this magi, this alchemist. You set intention and you master manifest, you co-create with source. You can see you're creating with source and it's creating new pathways for you. You may have multiple streams of income based off of your gifts. I feel because you've remained hopeful, as I said, and have, you know, really turned your pain into power or really learned to transmute any negativity that you are carrying from a circumstance. That's what's like, you know, garnering. That's what's garnering you, you know, this, this this abundance, this prosperity. Like I said, business is going to flourish. Business is going to bloom. Blah, blah, so. so let's get one more message and then we're going to wrap it up. Uh, right? So we're going to pull some messages from, you know, some cards that my son had made for me. This includes like initials, numbers, and angel names. So we had quite a few angels that showed up in this reading. So you got a couple of messages. We got A. So I'm hearing the word ascension. I'm hearing you're going to receive an answer. I hear I heard the name Aaron. I'm also hearing um, awakening. Someone's going through an awakening, going through some startling metamorphosis or transformation. Maybe this is what you've just gone through. 
I feel like some of you all also, you know, there is a sense of like you're dealing with maybe an air sign. I'm hearing those um ask and you shall receive. Someone's name could be um start off with an A, you know, first, middle, or last. And I'm also hearing Ashe. Ashe. Ancestor. There's an ancestor. I feel like there's an ancestor that is definitely like, maybe they're showing up in your dreams. They're giving you some sort of answer. And this is leading to some sort of awakening. This is leading to some sort of awareness. Leading to something. Even your ascension. I'm also here an altar. Some of you need to clean your altars. I saw like a dusty altar. You need to clean your altar with, you know, with um, like Florida water, some that you make or maybe even some that you purchase. You know, you could even use a little water with some sea salt in it and pray over it and, and cleanse the altar space. But you need to, you know, devote more time in front of your altars. If you don't have an altar, create one. You could literally put a picture of a deity that you feel a connection to, even an angel that you feel a connection to, a god or goddess that you feel a connection to. You could put a picture up, put a, you know, a glass of water, pour libation, light a candle, light an incense. You know, you could even light some Palo Santo. Put some flowers, some fresh flowers. Find out what their um, what their feast days are, and you can give offerings on those days. But I feel like some of you need to create altars. And we also have V. I heard Victory, Victorious. I heard the name Vanessa. I heard Vanguard. Someone works at Vanguard or something like that. I'm also hearing good vibes. Like someone that's coming in is going to have good vibes. Also trust vibes. Trust the vibes that you feel. Tr trust the vibes that you get. And I'm also hearing someone's venomous. Like this is someone that's like poison, toxic to you. So you have to really like keep your distance. I feel this is going to be that person that you're going to have to make a choice about. This is that person that constantly leaves you like in a perpetual state of confusion also. I'm hearing vile. This is a very vile person. And I'm hearing spirits like vehemently, they're, like, they're vehemently telling you, like, leave this person alone. Like, don't go back. Like, if you go back, this is on you. Don't, 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 you know, fault anyone else because this person, they've shown you that who they are. They want the victory over you. That's why they're coming back. Like, this person sees what you have. You see this? They see you have some sort of wish fulfillment, some sort of star, you know, some sort of, um, Blissing, some sort of financial situation, and they're coming back to be fugazi. They're coming back to be manipulative. This is a venom, like a venom, a venomous person, a vile person. This fortune here, they're trying to block that. So just be mindful because I get the fork in the road, like they're trying to cause you to be confused, just like this person here. So be mindful of who you're sharing your information with, who you're sharing your in, you know, your your business with. We have Z. Don't sleep on this person. Also, I'm what I'm hearing, like Z's. Like, don't sleep on this person. But someone's name could be Victor as well. I'm also hearing, like, whatever your, the sign, um, whatever your Venus place, placement is, it could be, the, that could be the sign of the person you were dealing with. So, like, if you say, for instance, you have Leo Venus, you know, you could have been dealing with a Leo. So this Z is telling me, like, don't sleep. But I'm also hearing like, you know, because um, I was here in Zion. So I don't know if someone was a Baptist, like someone was in the Baptist church. Someone was like a Christian and then they've kind of like. It's 
just like they kind of um, changed. You know, I don't want to say change religions, but like kind of just like grew out of it or became more spiritual and, and broadened their horizons or something. So Mary Magdalene flew out. So this is a wish fulfillment. This is a double confirmation here that you got a wish fulfillment. You know, you also have the Wheel of Fortune twice here. I just realized that. So this is not double confirmation. This is like, you know, you're being uh, confirmed four times, quadruple. Because the Wheel of Fortune is here twice. So that's like fortune fame. This is also saying like something is uh, turning around in your favor. Whatever was delayed, it's like it's no longer delayed. Then you also have the star. And now Mary Magdalene is promising that a miracle is coming through. We have number three. And it's because you've leveled up, you've reached that level of self-mastery. The three is associated with the Empress. It's also because you've healed from a heart, you know, from heartache and pain. And maybe you've made some very wise decisions. You're getting your just due. I'm hearing justice. And we have the number 11. So that number 11 is a master number. So I feel like Spirit is saying you've mastered yourself, you know. Um, that 11 is the 29 that flew out, which is the world card in this deck. So Spirit is saying that you've definitely reached that level of self-mastery. You've gained a deeper, more profound understanding of yourself. You now have knowledge of yourself. This 11 is also the 2. That's the high priestess. You've learned to trust your intuition. You've also learned to be balanced. That 2 is duality. I feel you're also attracting someone that's a like mind. Someone that will uh, give you equally. So let me get one more message and we're going to ride out. Uh, spirit of peace, power, and protection. So we have the X. So don't allow your X to hold you back is what I heard. They're trying to keep you at the crossroads. I feel like this is someone that definitely needs to be left behind. What we have on the bottom of the deck, we have a Y. And I'm hearing yes. So you have a yes answer. But don't allow some X to hold you back because they're only kind of trying to keep you stuck. You know, because remember, I was feeling like having you stuck at a crossroads. So this ex, you got to ex this person out of your life. You got to leave them behind. But this is your message, beautiful Scorpios. I hope the message resonated for you. If you found that it did, please be kind. Hit the like button. Hit the share button. Definitely hit the bell notification so you know whenever I upload. If you are new here, I hope you stay a while. I hope my message is resonated. I hope the way that I read resonates for you. If you are returning, you already know what it is. Love is love is love. Until next time, I send a big fat ashe. Oh, peace to all.